Yes, it's here! Ubisoft just revealed Assassin's Creed Odyssey with an awesome trailer and gameplay. Game is coming out on October 5th for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC and I already played a good amount of it and will show you that gameplay in this video. I will of course also share my impressions while I also tell you a ton of details including things about the two playable characters, combat on land and on ship, new features, how it plays and way way more. So sit back and enjoy and if you do then a like would be super appreciate it and let's go! Yes, the rumors were true, the game is set in 431 years before Christ, so 400 years before Origins, and you play either a boy or a girl. We got Alexios and Cassandra as the two playable characters, you can select them in the beginning and then you have to stick with them so you can't switch at any time. And good to note is that there is no gameplay difference between the two, so no exclusive skills or anything like that, they play the same. Although characters in the world could react to you differently according to the developer that I spoke to. I did not see this in my demo. They just wanted to give you an option to play either a male or a female. Both characters are of course fully voiced but do like speak the same lines at least in the section that I played with both characters and both characters can also romance all the special NPCs that have romance options. So yes you can romance the special characters you meet in the story. So what I've seen right now is that during missions you will come across these characters and by picking their side for example choose their approach on how to handle a problem you can then ask later to spend more time with them and then do some more missions afterwards to explore the romance. I haven't seen this through the end yet but I totally want to and will get my hands on the game a little later this week as well so then I will totally try and get this full romance option so I can show it to you guys as well. I mentioned choosing your approach and that is also new in this as a discrete game you make choices that should impact the outcome but also the progression of missions. For example attack the enemies head on or take a more strategic route. Meaning that you might not see some of the objectives in one playthrough if you choose one way or the other. There should even be characters that will be there later in the story or not depending on what you did in the game. So it's hard to say right now how deep this system is like in the full game how much impact your choices will have but I already saw that when I chose to go with one person I then had quest to follow up with that while I don't think I had that for the other character. You also have these dialogue choices in the middle of regular conversations and sometimes it seems like these choices will kind of mean the same thing and lead you to the same outcome. Maybe the direct answer will be different from the character. But these dialogue choices are also there to give you more background info if you want to on the character or on the objective. So you can like choose to directly continue with the quest or ask for a better understanding about what the heck is going on with this quest. It's like something we see in other RPGs as well and I really like it. It improves on Origins and adds another layer to it. And that's what you will really see in Assassin's Creed Odyssey where Assassin's Creed Origins took the first step into becoming an open world RPG, Odyssey goes way further. One big thing that is also new are the active abilities you can equip at any point. So you got 4 for the ranged attacks and 4 for the melee attacks and you really have to pick and choose because you can select all the abilities at the same time. Think of different abilities like the Spartan Kick that lets you push away enemies and I really like this one, a shield break ability where you grab the shield of an enemy and then throw it away so they can't use it anymore. And you will use this ability a lot because the enemies will have a ton of hop launch shields that will otherwise block a lot of your attacks. It goes even further though because you even got a healing ability that will give you health back. You have to play aggressive to be able to do these abilities since you build up the ability bar you see under your health bar. So that is like the new overpower bar and you get the points in the ability bar by attacking the enemy with a melee weapon. So you can't like use a ranged weapon like an Origins to build up this bar. So it's not one big bar anymore but you now have these smaller yellow sections and those are required to do the ability. So the heal ability for example costs one of those sections and it will then go on cooldown for a little while so you can't like spam it. But overall the cooldowns are pretty short so some abilities can really be done close after each other if you of course have enough yellow bars. 
So yes, having these abilities will totally change the way you play and add way more variety to the familiar combat system. Because yes, the combat is similar to Origins, but it has been tweaked a lot to make it feel really, really different. For example, the attack with a spear in Origins where you could like jump onto a target, you had to do like the dodge and heavy attack button. While in Odyssey, it's the dash and light attack instead of the dash and a heavy attack. And also all the regular attacks for all the weapons are really different so you need to get used to it for sure. The developers noted that there will be no new weapon categories in comparison to Origin so that's kind of a letdown but the weapons like I said do feel very different so you have to like learn them all over again and we of course have the abilities now to toy around with. Naval is also back in Odyssey and in a big way for example it's seamless now so you can hop onto your ship whenever you want or also fast travel to it and it's like used to to travel between the many islands of Agent Greece. In the sea you will encounter other ships you can take out by using your archers or your ram ability and also board the ship to kill the soldiers and get some special gear. Because if you just destroy the ship you will not get the loot. And oh the new loot system is glorious. You can now find many armor pieces in the world that have their own look and also set of perks. So looting enemies or exploring the world will be even more rewarding than in Origins because you might find some awesome new gear. I have a video up showcasing some legendary gear I could find in the demo so totally check it out on the channel. If it's up right now you will then see this notification pop up. Here I will also go deeper into the stats and the gear system itself. And that's totally what I will be doing over the next couple of days and weeks share more gameplay of the E3 2018 demo and go in depth on a ton of interesting new systems like the bounty system where you really have enemies go and hunt for you like the roaming bosses from Origins. There's a sort of risk style system where environments are taken over by Athens or Sparta where things you do will have an impact on who controls the region. There are only two islands to explore in this demo and those were already good for five hours. I did not play five hours but there was five Five hours of content so there is really a lot of stuff to do in Odyssey so yes I totally did not see everything during my play session but I could not stop playing either so yes in some ways it feels familiar you will see a lot of assets that were used in Origins as well a weird thing was that the guy in the opening cutscene had the freaking Sun Slayer sword you of course get from the Trials of the Gods community challenge in Origins so why it is in this game makes no sense I was really like what the heck is going on no but overall this really feels like a completely new game that builds upon the things that worked in Origins and adds a ton of new deeper systems onto it. Where Origins was like more manageable and predictable in terms of progression and how quests would play out, in Odyssey I felt like really overwhelmed by the amount of choices I had in terms of activities, like there are bounties as well that have you for example kill 5 pirate ships for some nice rewards. There are also things you can do to lower the region's control by Athens or Sparta by killing their soldiers or destroying their property and they of course still have these side quests that should play out differently depending on your choices and will have way more background info because you can now choose to learn more about it. So there will be like a ton of things to do in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and it will be out on October 5th so that is really really close. The game is made by the Assassin's Creed Syndicate team and has probably a ton of other teams helping them as well so they would have a good three years of development time on this game and it felt really solid already. Of course this build still needs some polish, it's a pre-release build build for E3. I had some frame drops for example and hiccups here and there but I'm sure that they will be taken care of before the game ships. I mean there are still like a lot of questions like how will the story be. I felt that the performance from Alexios was less exciting than Cassandra so I'll probably be rocking Cassandra uh, in this game. I'm a god. You think it's wise to throw blades first and ask questions later? But again, hard to see that in the demo with just a few missions. Again, this is just the start of my Assassin's Creed Odyssey coverage. I really can't wait to show you more about this game. Totally subscribe for everything Odyssey if you haven't already. And ask questions in the comments down below if you got them. Because I will also have some interviews with the developers coming up as well. So if there are some things that you are still worried about. For example, is there a hidden blade? I already asked that by the way. And there will be no hidden blade because it does not make 
make sense in terms of the story. But you do have another awesome blade that you use for the assassination takedown. So they are still pretty cool to watch. Again, Assassin's Creed Odyssey will come out on October 5th this year. I don't have any info on these sort of special editions or stuff like that. Because at the time of this recording, those have not been announced. But they might be announced when this video gets up. Check my giveaway for an E3 game of choice on a platform of choice. I put a link in the description down below where you just have to follow me on social media because I'm doing a ton of coverage on social media as well. Sharing a ton of photos from me playing games, E3 and a lot of other stuff. So I think you will enjoy it. So totally drop me a follow on Twitter and on Instagram. Also drop a like to support the channel. I will have way more Assassin's Creed Odyssey videos up. You can check some by clicking on the screen right now. And I will speak to you next time. Have a great E3. There are a ton of other games that I will cover here on the channel in the coming days as well. So it's going to be a good time. I will speak to you next time and goodbye.